back to another episode of Inside Line, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you being here. Gosh dang it, we missed you. We got a jam-packed episode for you today. First thing I gotta go into is a little bit of good news for everybody, which is I'm back on the skateboard, baby, yeah! And to be honest, I'm actually better than I was before I crashed. So I don't know if that's a testament to how hard I trained or how much I sucked prior, but hey, I'll take it as it comes doing some stand-up slides, back out with the boys and the girls and the squads and everybody. Been having people show up recently, been taking tons of runs, been going to GRC pretty much every single day. Just hyped. Something that's been blowing my mind lately is the number of companies I'm hearing from that say that their business is going up, that they're selling boards recently, and that they're selling out of boards, which is interesting to me, right? But when you think about it, with everything going on, with everything pandemic-y, everything is shut down so everybody's trying to get outside so bicycles are sold out rock climbing gear is sold out and skateboards are getting sold out so that means more people are skateboarding now more than ever guys we've been talking about this this is the renaissance of longboarding get hyped start making some footage build your local communities go to your hills try to host events reach out to us we'll try to coordinate with you do whatever the fuck you can let's make some cool shit happen guys this is really a chance for all of us to double down on all the effort we put in thus far to try to build the community and push even harder into the coming years because there are more people on skateboards than ever before. That is an undeniable fact. And people like Brandon and Emily and all those other guys out there that are hustling their asses off trying to get people to learn to skate are the ones who are laying the groundwork for all of this growth. Hype, 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 hype. We got a longboard video game out right now that does its damnedest to try to emulate what it's like for a downhill skateboarder to skate a road. Uh, you know, I literally went and bought this thing. It's $20 and you get uh, access to the Discord channel where you can discuss updates and, and things that you would like to see in the game. Uh, I found the game to be a little bit difficult to navigate, but that's only because I don't typically play computer games. I'm most often on pre-built, pretty user interface games on consoles. So to have something like this actually kind of piqued my interest a little bit. And then once I, I was able to plug in a controller like anyone that I wanted to, I thought that was a great addition. The the Thane lines really just sell it. And the, the vibe is there. And it, you know, uh, shout out to Nick Johnstone for all of the development work and really making a product that uh, kicks ass. For really making a product that's interesting. So uh, go check it out. Nick, you're doing God's work, man. Keep it up. And speaking of new things to the downhill community, Skate the Infinity is a trailer for an anime that's coming out. And I know I, I might already have lost some of you when I said an anime, but hear me out, all right? This is a step in the right direction. This is an anime where the primary premise is a skateboard downhill race into an abandoned mine. Yes, there's fantastic elements. Yes, there's stuff that doesn't necessarily make sense. Yes, it's obviously an anime, but they put their hands down. They're on skateboards. Guys, let's just take a step at a time, okay? One step at a time. This is progress. I'm an anime nerd. I love that kind of stuff, and I love skateboarding. So to have them both in the same place for me is fucking rad. Uh, and apparently, I'm not the only one who's in an anime because if anybody's been paying attention to longboard memes lately, it seems to be all the rage. No, no, no. Whether it's JoJo's One Piece or Mob Psycho, all of these meme pages are starting to feature some kind of anime reference, and I'm just here for it. So, all of you guys, make sure to go check out this trailer, and then everybody else, if you see some level of interest in it, I'll have a link for you below. Uh, shout out to our Texas buddy, Cord Bank Brown, who recently just got cleared of cancer. Dude, uh, I've been rooting for you since day one. I heard about this. I'm fucking stoked for you. I hope that you maybe even get back out and start skateboarding with us soon, maybe. Anyway, just glad to see that you're healthy, brother. Love you, man. Boarding Media puts out a video of Chet Bolstridge of him pretty much sideways. The whole fucking video. There's like maybe a minute of this five minute long or six minute long video where he is not sideways and that's when he's going straight to then go sideways. This man really knows how to throw a controlled slide and apparently they had a lot of footage of it. So go check this out, link in the description below. Um, yeah, Chet, come to NC dog, you should probably kill it. It's not even all slow-mo, it's not even all slow-mo footage. Like actually he's just sideways a lot, which is encouragement to me as somebody who's trying to learn stand-up slides. We're getting ready, you know what's up at NC? You wanna know what's popping in NC inside line? We're getting ready. 
we're busting our asses and we're working hard to make sure that we have a GRC event next year. I'm talking a free ride at GRC, closed down, and we get rides back up the hill, food and camping and shit. That's what we're working on. So you want to know why I haven't been busy making episodes? Because I've been busting my butt trying to make that happen. So keep that on your low. Uh, featuring some more guys, Quantum SSS. I, I don't know if they just got super hyped on the last feature we did or if they've really just been grinding this much but it seems like every other day they're dropping a new video whether it's a little vlog style gopro thing a raw run or a little edit of one of their friends that they're featuring i just am so here for these guys please go follow them they do not have as many views on their videos as they need to it reminds me very much of the early days of skatehouse media which i know a lot of you are still craving because when abuga posted that link on freaking longboard family everybody lost their shit for all of the uh, archived videos which there are like almost a thousand of them so ending rant go check out abuga's link for all the old skatehouse videos and if you're fiending for some new skatehouse ish content that's not from them go look at the stuff from uh quantum sss hyper cheetah dropping drone footage thank you i need more drone footage in my life guys this is like a thing that i'm craving so it's pretty much the entire video. It looks like it's filmed with a Mavic or something. They just put it up in the sky and just filmed their local sesh. These are some a little squad in Thailand just ripping it up on some corners that are their local sesh shell. And I, it's not fancy. It's not divey FPV footage. It's just pretty clean shots of the environment, good shots of the skateboarding. You see some Thane lines. And I don't know how to throw toe side 180s, so this guy's got a one up on me. Go check it out. Link down below. I have never done a toe side 180 that I can remember at, at, at anything above 10 miles an hour. I have never done a toe side 180. I've also don't think I've ever done a switch toe side 180 at anything over than 10 miles an hour. Like maybe like flat ground, like spinning the board around, but never, never uh, ac actively going downhill. That, that, that's now, that's now a thing that's going to be plaguing me that I think about. Now I'm going to have to do that. There you go. These guys in Thailand just inspired me here in North Carolina to want to do 180 slides because he made it look that easy for somebody that doesn't have to go fast. You know, we're talking about drone footage because of how sick it looks, but Josh Newman figures out a way to top that just one little step higher by just putting a GoPro to his head and jumping out of a hot air balloon. This footage is part of a four-part series that Josh put out called Ascent. It's out on his YouTube channel right now. Go check it out. It's absolutely incredible. It's some kind of combination of a vlog slash car commercial slash skate video and it if it is all of those things at the same time then are we looking at the ultimate skate video i don't know you guys let me know after you go check out all four of them and then tell me in the comments below what you think oh shit harrison bell oh shit harrison bell i don't know what the hell you're thinking over there your dr frankenstein is mine but you're taking skateboards and putting them on skis and making it look that amazing Holy crap, man. You're prototyping the future, bro. You're not even let you're not even preparing anybody for this crap, man. You can't you can't just drop this on us. You can't just drop sick toe sides on your not snow skate skateboard snot ski skate thing. Smarty pants. This thing looks awesome. Send me one. How many screws? How many screws do you have in there, Harrison? I gotta bet with Richard it's more than 20. While Harrison's out on the slopes, Blood Orange decides to book it to Hawaii for some sunshine, snagging all the same footage that you know and love, this time featuring Cole Trump. Cole's new tattoo is not the only thing he's rocking this season. He's actually skating on Prism Boardco right now, and it's fucking awesome to see that this guy is going to be skating with some dudes who love free riding and big slides as much as he does. Visit Korea's YouTube page, creates its own content, and produced a new video promoting the fall season in one of the local parks, by featuring two longboard dancers the entire video they're you this is a national brand using longboarding to help promote tourism to the country guys this is huge like i'm talking about there's all these small steps that longboarding is taking right now we need to be here for it we need to be cognizant of it we need to be paying attention to it and participating this is awesome go watch this video go share it show them that we care about this kind of stuff man this is awesome Another thing I saw recently was on Longboard Family, Ah Kang, who's the, the cosplay skateboarder in South China, 
is out in dozens of different outfits, some of his own design and some of the designs of the uh, company that he works for, out lawnboard dancing in public parks and stuff like that. Passerby is just walking around with their kids, getting to enjoy a little show. It doesn't cost them any money, and it's really entertaining. This stuff is incredibly wholesome. There's a moment where he falls off his board, but then makes a little pose, and then, like, a little girl doesn't even get scared. She walks up and she just moves his hair out of his eyes. It's adorable. Go watch the freaking video. It's, a, it's just something that you're going to enjoy. And out of India now, we're just traveling all around the world. Uh, longboarding is starting to become a lot more popular. There's pockets of groups of skateboarders that are coming up. I'll link to this video that you guys can go check out and go see this little squad of skaters. But they are actually crushing it. And their conditions aren't exactly the best. There's huge potholes. The roads are always covered in dirt. There's rickshaws everywhere. If you guys don't know what a rickshaw is, go Google that. I'm telling you, it's not normal conditions. It's definitely something that I would be very cautious about, but they're out there sending it. So go show some love to the other communities out there in the world and make sure that you are trying to support your own as well. This guy, all right, so this guy, Francisco, right? He, he's on Longboard Family, he made a post about it. I'm looking deeper into some of the stuff that he's doing. He actually has like an electric longboard that he's outfitted to be like a luge because he's a paraplegic. So that way he can just wiggle his hips and pivot into a slide. Guys, this is fucking cool. Go check this out. Go sit, sit and skate. Like, this is fucking sick. Like, all of you need to be more hyped about this. This is fucking cool. Oh man. There is just, there is just endless hope. You just are never done, man. You're never done unless you want to be. This is the kind of shit, if you're looking to be inspired, if you're looking to put a smile on your face, go check out this guy. Francisco Antonio Homblar. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. He's from Germany. I'll link it down below. Holy crap, he's got one of the spark pucks too. Yo, this guy's lit. Go check him out. That's it. That's the end of the episode, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming out. Uh, so many amazing things that we've been able to see over the last few months come out for longboarding. And there's so much in the future to look forward to. Make sure that you're being safe. Make sure that you're out there skateboarding and make sure to make it a good one. We'll see you at the bottom. I like it.